in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my 2009 Chevy HHR panel. I've been getting a lot of requests over the last few weeks on kind of just a walkthrough, showing you my setup and just giving you my opinions on the overall vehicle. Now I purchased this vehicle maybe at this point three, four years ago, and I've been using it. It's both my personal and my detail rig, so I use it for both cases. Uh, so this video is gonna give you my overall, overall opinions and just kind of on a daily setup how and, and what I do to operate out of this, you know, really compact and small vehicle. All right, first we have the driver's side area. Now there's nothing too fancy about this vehicle. I mean, so I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what I see here. Uh, there's a compartment up here that you can just put whatever you want. I put my uh, lotion, Germex, a little bit of cash cable. Then here, me specifically, I have my charger, mouthwash, and then my two square readers, just in case, uh, depending on the card that the client's giving me. Then you got a little bit of change right there, some cup holders. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you can use this, you can pay extra for this Bluetooth thing here, I think. Uh, I've never used it, never tried it. Uh, you get this here mirror, and uh, that's about it. So the way you open these side doors is you have these two buttons right here. You also have the right side door button right there if you need to press that one. Uh, but essentially, you just press this button, and then it opens up back here, which you already opened. Uh, so that's how you open and open the, the, the rear doors to access the actual um, cargo area. Okay, so I already opened all the doors just to get as much light in here for so you guys can see it better. Uh, so when we come to the back of the vehicle, as you can see, I have my extractor, I have my generator, and I have my crate of products here. Where I purchased this product specifically, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I've been having it for like four years now, so I don't know. You just have to look around. Uh, so that's, as you can tell, like I'm already maxed out here in terms of space. Um, you could, there's more space down here. You can remove all this and then put this board here. And you can line it up here so you have two levels. Uh, but down there, it, it's not a flat surface. The battery is also there. So it's not very um, effective to use, so that, which is why I only have this. If it, if it was like, if you had a smaller product, like smaller products or tool that you're trying to carry down, and maybe not even for detailing, this would be good. It's like if you can get the second shelf and put it right here. So you can have one level here, another level there. But for detailing, carrying decent sized equipment, it's, it's not an ideal fit. So here I have all my tool, all my products that I need. Every single one of them goes in here. Um, I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking for specific tools and products. So I'll just link all the, 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 the products in the description box down below if you want to check those out. I am an affiliate, so I do get a small commission uh, as a forewarning uh, or just a disclaimer. Um, so yeah, so these are the three main things that I'm carrying. Uh, as you can see, it's already a tight space just as it is back here. Uh, then I have my gloves here, the trash bags here, and then on the side compartments right here, I have my uh, my uh, hyper dressing applicator, microfiber pad, the tire dressing applicator pad, and then if I need a wax application pad for the paint, it's right there. So they're just tucked in, uh, between the, this little wedge here with uh, that are in a plastic bag. Then I have my mother's polish, and I have it here just because it doesn't fit too well inside of the crates. So swinging it around, so now I'm stuffing my McCulloch 1385 steamer on the side. I have my uh, Metro Vac and Blow uh, vacuum right there. And if we push this forward, you'll see that I have my uh, I have a heat gun right there. So tucked underneath the actual seat, um, just in case I need it for whatever reason. My uh, the heat gun is going to be right there, readily available. I don't really use it that much, but it's there just in case I need it. So if you move this out the way. Ugh. Then we have, uh, so this crate here is used for just other miscellaneous tools and products. Um, so here I have my Metro, my, uh, Metro Sidekick Blower, upholstery brush, pet hair brush, and then I have this other uh, box that has all the interior brushes that I use, so they're all stacked in here. So that makes it super easy to access. And then I have another box here that has just like a screwdriver, flathead, a pin, and a flashlight, um, so that's tucked underneath there. Then I have my electrical cord and the lid for the five gallon bucket if I need to close it, if I'm carrying water, uh, if I'm carrying water inside the, the bucket in my van. And I'll do that oftentimes if I'm going to a location uh, that's not a home that I don't have access to water. I'll just fill up my a gallon of water, my um, bucket of water, put the lid, and then I'll be good to go. Set that there, put this back. And then here on this side, this is where I carry my more high quality towels. I'm kind of low, I need to restock on them. But um, this, yeah, this is where I'll carry my, my more plush, high quality paint towels in there. Um, and then here are my interior towels that I primarily use for the interior. Maybe if I need something for the wheels or tires or engine bay, I also grab them, but primarily for the interior. Um, so this is a full bin full of interior towels. 
Uh, next we have the, I guess you could call it the exterior uh, bin. And this is like the, the drying towels. So four drying towels. This you can technically call uh, a drying towel. Uh, three wash mitts, two Chanel's, one Meguiar's microfiber wash mitt. Uh, just one uh, clay mitt, this is a nano skin clay mitt. And then a uh, buck sponge, a, a buck sponge remover, sponge thingamabobber. So this will be more so of the exterior bucket. This is more of the interior bucket, which is just primarily towels. Now let's take you to the other side. Okay, and as you can see, like I'm again, I'm already maxed out on on room. So like I, I'm just, you know, I'm throwing things how I, how I can fit them. So I'll move this out the way. And these are just three buckets. Three buckets here. Um, this is the my my primary bucket for like the wash solution. This is like if I need it for anything miscellaneous that's coming about. And then this is my wool bucket. So there are three three uh, buckets. I don't really use the second one, but I take it just in case I need it for something. Wheel bucket, wash bucket. Uh, next, I tuck in the polisher, the uh, great garage six inch polisher with the carpet attachment. I'll tuck it in right here if I'm doing interiors. Um, if I'm not gonna be using it, I can tuck it underneath one of the compartments here, which I'll show you in a bit. But here is where I carry the gallon sized, um, the gallon sized chemicals. So this is gonna be 10 to one APC, all purpose cleaner. This is super clean. This is four to one. Uh, off-purpose cleaner super clean this is my optimum no rinse diluted as a clay lube and this is just a gallon of water which I have to refill right now because I'm about to leave and then just some good old gold class car wash from uh, Meguiar's and I was holding it sideways uh, so yeah these are just five uh, five you know buck gallons of well this isn't really a gallon but uh, the, anyways, these are the most used products so this is why I, I, I bring these um, if I'm doing like a really 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 big job and I'm gonna be there for like a lot longer than usual I'll also bring like the actual Meguiar's undiluted um, uh, product as well, just, just that way, just in case I need to get more, more, more than just a gallon of APC, I'll be able to dilute it on site. Uh, that way, I don't run into any issues. Uh, then I have the actual ladder right here, my uh, Gorilla ladder. Uh, super, super, super useful. Highly, highly, highly recommend it for detailing. And then let me move these out the way so I can show you the actual bottom compartments. Okay, I already filled up that, that the gallon of water just just so I don't forget before I leave. Now, because these are taking a lot of spaces in the back, all right, I need to make sure that the, that the door obviously is able to close, so I need to push these back. But that also means that I'm going to push these two crates back as well. And when that happens, that means this crate is overlapping this, this compartment right here, so it's not as easy to lift up and open because I have that in the way. Now, I could scoot it up and I could scoot the other two up, but then sometimes I have pr trouble closing the um closing the door and while i'm also detailing uh i i try to get this little compartment here just open so i can put stuff as like whatever i need like the towels or brushes or whatever so that's why i try not to have everything too far up because i need a little bit of room to uh to just just to put stuff while i'm working so um which is why it's gonna that that crate goes over the uh the compartment right here um but for demonstration purposes and i have everything held down by bungee cords so this is so you literally just uh, release this, or oh, unhook it, and that comes off. Ugh. Oh, so let me move this out the way for you guys for now. Bam. Uh, so there's not much here. I have sanding discs. Take a look at that. Uh, sanding discs, my apron, uh, microfiber cutting disc, and then some jumper cables just in case. And this is good just in case like one of your customers' vehicles uh, shuts off or something. Uh, it's good to have these on hand as well. Uh, ask me why I have that. Then let's switch on over to the other side. So I'll push this one out the way. Move this back. Unhook this. Push this out here. Make sure I don't break anything. And then lift this up. And then here, this is where I would put the polisher. Uh, but just because I always use it, I just keep it out now. Um, if I know for like a good while I'm not going to be using it, I'll put it in here but this is why this is empty because I, I usually have I try to have everything out here because it is a little bit of a hassle to remove like I just said to remove the um to remove the towels the steamer uh the both the crates uh and the ladder over there it's it's time consuming to remove all that just to access something so um this is more of storage more than like actual usage um so if I'm going to be using something frequently I won't have it in here because again it's a hassle to, to dig through this uh every single time I need and let me just scoot this seat up Ugh. and then let me show you guys here so this is just an extra close I'm gonna close 
an extra bag of clothes uh, because I do, I mean, being mobile, you sweat a lot, you get wet from, you know, washing cars. So you want to make sure you always have clean clothes just in case you get super wet or like a bunch of gunk on your clothes. Then I have just have a bucket of, of water and stuff down here. Then I have a, a light rain jacket just in case it starts raining, but not enough to stop. I can just put that on and keep on working. Uh, I also have a hat on right now that always stays in here as well. This vehicle specifically have like a business card holder. This is the same, these are the same business cards I've been having, like like this exact sets I've been having for the past two years. Like I don't pass out business cards at all. Like they've, this is the same ones, the same stack I've grabbed two years ago. They're still right there just chilling. Uh, then an extra cup holder right there. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, again, it, you're very limited on space. So there's, there's a lot of pros and cons to this vehicle. Uh, for one, I can get around anywhere. Uh, any parking garage, any driveway, like it's super easy because it's such a small vehicle. Uh, but on that same note, because as you can tell, um, there's such a limited space. I mean, you have to pick and choose what you're actually gonna take on the job site, uh, which I'm a big fan of not taking more than what you need. So like, you know, I'm, I'm only taking the essentials. Like that. that's that's what makes me get more creative and, and a lot more focused on what I'm gonna take out to the customer's job site because I can only take what I absolutely need. I'm not gonna be like, okay, maybe if this happens, if that happens, if this happens, I need this. No, I'm gonna take what I need and if I don't have it, I'll figure it out with what I have. Uh, so that's good words of wisdom for yourself when you're just starting off. Overall, I enjoy the vehicle a lot. It gets decent mileage. It gets like 25-ish, 29-ish miles per gallon. It's definitely not strong by any means necessary. I mean, I can floor it on the highway, like on the on when I'm getting, uh, when I'm going onto the highway and it'll take a while for it to kick in and to like actually pick up speed. So don't, I mean, it is not strong by any means necessary. Uh, but for what it is, um, it, I mean, it fits my needs specifically, um, you know, comparing this, like if I had like whatever, any other sized vehicle, like any other uh, actual van, uh, the cost as far as gas and all that, I mean, it's just substantial. So uh, I'm very happy with, the, with, 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 with what it's giving before what I, what I specifically need it for. If you're trying to carry like a canopy and five different polishers and an air compressor and a toner door and this huge extractor, it's not gonna be the right fit for you because you simply don't have the size. Other than that, it's around at I think like 105,000 miles right now. The only major thing I've done is I think I've changed the brakes, I think like a, maybe last year or something. If, and right now it's kind of, I, you know, I can't think about exactly what I've done. But other than that, I mean, changed tires. I, I think changed the brakes and just regular oil change and uh, uh, changing out the oil and stuff. Other than that, I mean, there's there's not much that I've done to the vehicle in terms of repairs. So it's been holding up really, really well. And that completes this video. Uh, leave any comments, questions, feedback down below on the vehicle itself, on the mobile setup that I have, what mobile setup you're trying to get, if you're trying to buy a trailer or van. If you're just starting off, I highly recommend just working out of your personal vehicle. That's how I started. I had a 2003 Matrix XRS, and I would just fold down the seats, put everything in there, go service the vehicle, come back, unload everything, and then use it as my personal vehicle again. So if you're just starting off, you don't need a trailer, you don't need a truck, you don't need a van, start off in your personal vehicle. Whether it's a coupe, a sedan, a truck, just start off with that and slowly progress your way up. Don't think you're gonna spend like $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 on a van when you're just starting and that's gonna like, you know, kick off your business. There's a lot of other things you can purchase with the money that you're gonna spend on the vehicle. So just start off with your personal vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's corrected, if it's like, like I haven't watched my vehicle in about two, no, nah, maybe like a 45 days or so. And I mean, it just, it's, it's really no biggie. Um, I used to wash it like every week cause I wanted to keep it clean. But after you start getting busy and then you start doing like actual business stuff in terms of like invoicing and marketing and sales and customer, like you're gonna, you'll, you'll push some things in the on the back burner. And I'm, I definitely, you know, washing my vehicle is not a priority. But uh, yes, to start off with your personal vehicle, it doesn't have to be the super corrected, shiny, the best looking vehicle on, you know, as a detailer, just, you know, a simple car wash and you, you should be good to go with that. When you're starting off, again, all, you'll, be, you can, you'll always slowly progress as needed. Um, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about the products and the vehicle, so just check the description box down below for all those products, that way uh, you have them all there if you wanna look at what I use in my vehicle. So other than that, I'll see you on the next video.